Let us discuss the mechanism of a hydraulic lift, which is also based on the applications of Pascal's law. In a typical hydraulic lift, there are two tubes. One is a very narrow tube, and other is a broad tube, or more precisely, we should call it a broad vessel. And at the top of the fluid filled in the two, which are connected by an opening at the bottom. These are closed by two different pistons. Say the cross-sectional area of pistons are S1 and S2. Now in this situation, say we apply an external force F1 onto the narrow tube. Say this is tube A and this is tube B. Then we can say just below the piston, a pressure increment will be there, which can be written as pressure at point A. We can simply write as F1 by S1. If we find out the pressure at the bottom of this tube, we can simply state here pressure at the bottom. This is point to say X. So pressure at bottom at point X can be written as F1 by S1 plus H rho G, where H is the height up to which the fluid is filled in it, and it is closed by a piston. Now in this situation, we can simply state. That at the whole bottom level or at the horizontal level, the pressure at this point will remain same as if this point is y. Then pressure at the bottom at point y can be simply written as F1 by S1 plus H rho 1 G. And if other piston B is also at a height h above this bottom level. Then we can find out the pressure at point B, and pressure at point B can be written as F1 by S1 plus H rho G minus H rho G as we are moving up. So these gets cancelled out, and pressure at point B can be simply written as it is F1 by S1. So if this force is increased, the pressure at point A increases correspondingly. Pressure at this point will also increase. And this piston will experience an outward force F2, and the force applied by fluid on piston B, force by fluid on piston B can be given as F2, which is pressure at point B multiplied by S2, and it can be given as F1 by S1 into S2. Now in this situation, if S2 is taken very very greater than S1, this implies the force F2 will be very very greater than F1. This is the way how the force is amplified by a very large value in the ratio of the areas. And say sometimes in a mechanical workshop, we need to lift different cars or automobiles which are placed onto this piston. And when a very small magnitude force is applied here electrically, then this is able to lift the car as the force applied by the fluid on the piston will be many times more. This is the basic concept of hydraulic lift, which is found in various mechanical workshops.